MD. I am broadcasting from Sabuaga City, Philippines. This blood is simple blood, but how to protect yourself against COVID-19 with sunlight? It's more than eight months now in the Philippines, give or take two weeks, that we became afraid of the virus called SARS-2. And the disease caused by SARS-2 is called coronavirus disease 1919. So they call it for short COVID-19. And we have learned in Zimbabwe City to do measures to prevent its spread. Among the measures used was wash your hands, use face mask, and social distancing. Don't see your friends or neighbors. And use sanitizers clean your hands, if there's no water, which in the beginning of this pandemic in San Juan City, wet water rushing and there was no alcohol in the stores. Now, despite of all these measures, the virus spread. More and more people are getting sick with the virus. Now, the government statistics shows, I think, that less than 400,000 in the Philippines who have had coronavirus. And majority recover. Fewer people die, maybe 7,000. And since then, the number keeps on going up. What we should do is to find alternative methods of fighting this virus, not lockdown. There are countries who did not lock down, like Sweden. Their original mortality was so high, but now it's very low. Now, our government, if they want to use lockdown, they should put a set day to stop it. Why? Because we cannot do lockdown forever. The people are suffering. No jobs. The businessmen or whatever drives the industry in the city have no money. Restaurants are closed. Hotels are closed. So we have to stop this lockdown. And when we stop this lockdown, business will resume. How can we stop the lockdown? Now there are two problems here, the virus and the person. The virus spreads to the person. If the person has high immunity or optimal immunity, the person will not get very sick. They will be part of the 46% in asymptomatic or another 46% or more, who will have mild symptoms. So, if you have 46 plus 46, that maybe is about 92 percent, so there may be 8 percent or less who will have severe symptoms. And there will be maybe 1 percent or less who need ventilators. So what is the problem? Why do lockdown because of the 1% or the 4% who become sick. It's because they do not know the mechanics of the virus. The virus will invade a person if the vitamin D level is low, the vitamin C level is low, and the person's immune system cannot fight back. But if the person's immune system is good, optimal. The virus will be asymptomatic to the person. They will, the immune system will kill the virus before it can make them very sick. So the 
strategy of lockdown and not giving the older people and the susceptible people, the sick people, vitamin C and vitamin D as preventive, to me is criminal. We could have saved the 7,400 who died if the government gave vitamin C and vitamin D. So, that's one of the points I'm bringing up. Now, sun exposure is very cheap. Of course, we have typhoons coming in and out, thunderstorms. So sometimes the sun exposure is just for an hour a day or less. But still, you can get vitamin D and protect yourself from coronavirus with this sun exposure. So the best sun exposure is between 9 and 3. 15 minutes. Men should really wear shorts to get maximum effect in short time. And women may be bathing suits. Not with an umbrella. The other immune booster is vitamin C. The government has not been announcing anything about vitamin C, vitamin D, selenium, magnesium, and others like malungai as a vegetable to fight the coronavirus. They've always been going after face shields. If you have no face shield, you'll get arrested and fine quanto? 500 pesos? But this is an English version. We're going to, if you don't have face shields, they will fine you, I think 500 pesos or 1,000 pesos. So I would say that the government should stop doing these things. When the patient, person is poor, they don't have money to buy a face shield, they get arrested for not having a face shield, they don't have money, their condition is worse. If they want the people to wear face shield, they should give the patient persons face shield. Now the International medical societies say that the level of vitamin D should be 30 or more. But 30 is not protective. It should be over 40 or over 50. So the government should research and find out what's the optimal level of vitamin C, not just sufficiency. So the other things that can help immunity is vitamin C, vitamin D, magnesium, selenium, green vegetables, fruits, and there are many other substances. Green tea can also help prevent the interleukin-6 storm that can kill patients. So, my appeal is to the government authorities, research on vitamin D and vitamin C and other immune boosters and go this way rather than lockdown and martial law because it does not work. And lastly, the problem with lockdown, when old people and young people are forced to stay in their homes, they do not get sunlight. Their vitamin D level goes down and there is more deaths. This is proven. If you look at the statistics of the Philippines in the world meter, the first three or four months of lockdown, very little deaths. When the vitamin D level went down, the deaths spiked. And this was after about three or four months of lockdown. So lockdown is killing more Filipinos. Thank you. And don't forget to press the subscribe button. Or what other button you can find there. Thank you. Until next time.